Shalom Makim. This is Yahweh Batazah coming back with another video. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to you brothers out there doing the work in sincerity and truth. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Wahar Kakwadash. Barakatam Akim. Alright. I just want to speak about something that I've been observing. Uh here at my workplace and it's not even just there it's everywhere you know what I'm saying you can go to a a bar club internet social media you know dating sites even amongst um, good friends you know what I'm saying you got a circle of friends that that involves women and children and men and you know is that um, a man or a woman that are not bound to each other will end up committing adultery you know and they'll be doing it right underneath the man's uh, nose and him not even detect it man you know what I'm saying and we know what it says in the law. Thou shalt not commit adultery. You know? And if they these two be found, they, they shall be stoned, man. Be put to death. You know what I'm saying? And that's part of the reasons of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's return is because adultery is heavily um, acceptable here in America, man. All right? And women act like they're good, man. Act like they're clean. They're pure. You got these wicked-ass two-third men that are just basically faggots. You know what I'm saying? Um, envious. You know, full of hatred. You know? And really are murderers because scriptures talk about hating your own brother. You're likened unto a murderer, man. So this is the premise of the video. Something that is just, I've just been observing. And and it vexes me because... You know what I'm saying? I mean, shit. If it was me, and I saw that shit... Something, something's gonna, something's gonna end up happening as far as like it's gonna be corrected or that bitch is gonna get cut off, one or the other. You know what I'm saying? And us men as the Lord, us men that represent Yahweh Bashmi Shai and that has his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, we are commanded to edify the body and 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 show each other what to avoid. And workplaces, wherever you go, it don't matter. Because you can be tempted into doing stuff like that. Or we're not exempt from stuff like that. You see a woman. You find out that she has a husband. Or she has a boyfriend. Whatever you want to call it. You better move away from that. Have no part in that. Because there's no way in hell. That a man and a woman. Can be friends. Not one. And if they are. It's because that dude is a faggot. And that woman you know, just likes hanging around with faggots. You know what I'm saying? One or the other are bound to like each other. Alright? And and especially if there's drinking involved, you're all chilling, kicking back. It, it can even happen within a party. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go into, you know, into, into a, a area where it's just y'all two and y'all end up doing something. Because y'all are under the influence. But really, the whole time, you're already having feelings for each other. All right? So it's just something that I've been observing. And I wanted to, um, you know, bring this out. This is in the... Uh, let's see here. It's the book of Sirach 9 and 9. It says, Sit not at all with another man's wife, nor sit down with her in thine arms. All right? So even if it's just... You know, just trying to be friendly and kick back. There's a, to a certain degree, but you have to remove yourself from that. Move on. 
All right. It's not hard to detect if a woman is feeling you, digging you, whatever it is, you know. And that's cool. If she ain't bound to nobody, then deal. But if you know that she has a dude, you know, she's she's uh, spoken for, you ain't supposed to be that close, man. All right. It says, sit not at all with another man's wife, nor sit down with her in thine arms. Because that it's going to go from just sitting down and talking, laughing. You know, to to you uh, uh, um, trying to comfort her because she's starting to tell you her problems with her dude. You know, nor sit down with her in thine arms and spend not thy money with her at the wine. You know, some guys, they, you know, I remember back in the day when I was younger, you know, our whole purpose of buying beer was to get females to come you know let's get them drunk you know play some music you know what I'm saying and, and what's the end result hooking up you know but us men in this truth we are not to con uh, conduct ourselves in that manner alright like I said here in America it's highly condoned um, uh, adultery is highly condoned here, condoned here man it's highly acceptable. And these proud men, these proud women, they're okay with it. You know? They act like they ain't going to get touched. They act like they ain't going to be dealt with regarding that, man. All right? It says, least thine heart incline unto her. See? Or your, or your heart will uh, incline unto her. You'll get weak. You know, you will, um, your guard will, f will fall because of you taking it that far. The more you spend time with somebody, it don't matter who it is, you, you, you become um, connected. You know, you be you come even when when it's a uh, uh, you know two two individual men that are always around each other to kick them back together, they become connected to where. They 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 want to you know hang out and, and go grab something to eat, you know what I'm saying? There's a connection, and when a man and a woman, that connection is there too, but within the man and the woman, they become attracted to one another as far as like they start wanting to be with each other, one or the other, if not both. Some people can disagree with 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 my uh, my theory. But I strongly, I've, I've seen it. I've witnessed it. I've experienced it. Where I just wanted to be that girl's friend, but she didn't want to be my friend. She wanted more. And there's been times where I wanted a girl, she only just wanted to be my friend. So what happens? You can't be with each other. You can't deal with each other. The only way it's going to happen is if you two are, are, are really, y'all both want to be with each other. Or y'all end up fucking up by doing what it says right here. Drinking. By, uh, drinking getting wine or you know whatever it is alcohol and it says least thine heart your mind incline unto her and so through thy desire thou fall into destruction all right so the scripture says sit not at all with another man's wife man okay so i'm gonna go from there to here um before i get that hopefully lord will i remember let me see Let's go here to Proverbs 6 And uh, This is Proverbs 6 and 25 Lust not after her beauty in thy heart and thy mind Neither let her take thee with her eyelids Because you know how women You know they'll try to entice you through their eyes Their makeup Their smile Flipping of the hair how they dress, how they walk, how they touch you, you know. There's different avenues how a woman will send signals to you to entice you, to seduce you, to show you that she likes you. So that's why it says, lust not after her beauty in thy heart, meaning that you have to cut it off immediately. Don't let it play within your mind. All right. 
It says, Neither let her take thee with her, with her eyelids. For by means of a whorish woman, a man is brought to a piece of bread, and the adulteress will hunt for the precious life. You see? That's why it's very important. I'm speaking to the brothers, to the Akim, because we are um, um, susceptible to those temptations. You know? And like I said, I witnessed this in, within my workplace, and that's something that I, uh, inspired me to make this video. You know? It says, For by means of a whorish woman, a man is brought to a piece of bread, and the adulteress will hunt for the precious life. Can a man take fire in his bosom and his clothes not be burned? Like I said, you'll fall into destruction. Pursuing back to Sirach chapter 9 verse 9. Can one go upon hot coals and his feet not be burned? So he that goeth in to his neighbor's wife. Right? The word neighbor goes back to brother. Right? Or, you know, just because they're not within the circle of, of the household of faith. You know? These two thirds are still our brothers as far as like they're Israelites, right? But we ain't concerned with them, you know? But it can also happen out there and it can also happen in, within the, the household of faith, you know? And there's examples of that happening, all right? So he that goeth into his neighbor's wife, that man's wife, right? Whosoever toucheth her shall not be innocent. Men do not despise a thief if he steal to satisfy his soul when he is hungry, right? That's true. You have mercy and compassion, you know? But if he be found, he shall restore sevenfold. He shall give all the substance of his house. But whoso committeth adultery with a woman lacketh understanding. All right? He that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. A wound and dishonor shall he get, and his reproach shall not be wiped away. For jealousy is the rage of a man, therefore he will not spare in the day of vengeance. He will not regard any ransom, neither will he rest content, though thou givest many gifts. Meaning that you cannot escape your judgment. You know? For committing adultery you know willingly you know that's why it's it's important you know that these lessons be made regarding this topic this subject you know um let me go over here to proverbs 30 because women they act very innocent man they act like they don't ever they can't do no wrong Okay, so right here, this is the Proverbs 30 and 20. Such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth and saith, I have done no wickedness. You know what I'm saying? She can get caught red-handed, you know, bopping somebody up and wipe her mouth clean. But like, I didn't do nothing wrong in front of her, her husband, her man. You know what I'm saying? That's evil and wicked as hell, man. Even for that man. That man that is... um, uh, What is it called? Participating in the act. Alright, the Most High is highly against that. So these places, this place America is heavily um, filled with adulterous type people. Workplaces... Everywhere you, you think of it, that adultery is being committed there, man. Homes, jobs, workplaces. All right. Um, fucking homeless homes. The people, the homes that people go to that they're homeless. They they're doing all kinds of wickedness everywhere, man. You know. That's why this place has to be destroyed. And guess what? Those kind of people, they're, they're, they're lifted up on high, man. You know? Those are the ones that are accepted. Those are the ones that are...
given the best positions, the, the more money, you know. But the ones that that are are against that stuff, you know, what I'm saying they're 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 despised, they're rejected, they're 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 fired from jobs, you know, because they're not going according to the spirit of this world, man. But that's a blessing to you, you know, what I'm saying it's a blessing to us. Because we know that we're fighting for truth. You know what I'm saying? But this place is wicked as hell, man. And to you women that listen to the video, to my videos, you are not to sit with another man. Unless it's your husband. Right? Which leads me to what you know I remembered. 1 Corinthians 14. says first first Corinthians 14 and 34 let your women keep silence in the churches for it is not permitted unto them to speak but they are commanded to be under obedience as also saith the law and if they will learn anything you have no business learning anything from another man and if they will learn anything let them ask their husbands at home for it is a shame for women to speak in the church all right. Well, well, somebody will be like, "Well, what do I do when I'm at my job?" You ask your boss. You ask. Yeah, if there's a man there, yeah, you, you, it pertains to work. Yeah, but like I made mention, men can seduce women too to to to, to uh, sleep with them and things of that nature. But that's where you have to gird up thy loins like a man and 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 fall back. You know. That's why the Lord says, seek out thy salvation with fear and trembling. Seek out thy own salvation with fear and trembling. Because not over, not every, not, the Lord can't be, is not going to be there pulling you back, telling you not to do it, not to do it. All right. The spirit can whisper it to you, but it's going to be up to you to fall back. All right. So I'm going to leave it with that, brothers. Hope it was edifying. Like I said, just something I observed, you know, um, just like in the book of Proverbs, you read um, how how um, King Solomon he always, you know, he'll, he'll say that he looked out the uh, the window of his casement. You know, he was looking outside, out of his eye, his body, or at an actual home. He was watching, you know, and he saw a simple, simple individual, a man, stumbled across the harlot. You know, and she took his life. You know, but basically, what I'm saying is that you look outside this world, you see wickedness everywhere, man. Just watch, pay attention, you'll see it, you'll pick up on it. And it's funny because Jake came up to me yesterday. You know, I was just sitting there by myself. He came and sat down with me, started chopping it up a little bit, uh, Judite. And he asked me, he was like, man, you know, he asked me about 